All right, guys, Andy here. Welcome to a medieval house tutorial. This is a starter medieval house. Simple ingredients that you would get at the start of a survival map. Andesite, cobblestone, stone, stone brick, and your choice of wood. I've gone for spruce. This time it is a house tutorial. I've got some other ones to do, and I've done one. In the background, just off the left there, there's a church tutorial, which I have just completed. This is part of a build series and I've teamed up with Blue Nerd Minecraft, link to his channel in the down below and link to the playlist. Episode one was my church, episode two was the mason's house, the stone mason's house by Blue Nerd and this is episode three, the house. So we've still got the blacksmith, a library and possibly even a tavern, definitely a windmill. So in a few seconds I'm going to show you the entire ingredients list for this house. Quick spin around the outside one more time. Nice little kind of workshop at the back here. Plenty of room up here for kind of a little balcony at the back. Extra windows. There's plenty of room at the back for whatever you need, farms, a nice big kind of a bell tower. You can stick a bell in there. I don't think I've put a bell in there yet, but you could put ladders and a bell. It's got a front balcony as well. Pretty neat features on the inside, kind of a big door for big objects to be moved into the house, kind of a, a more formal single door right there. A little closet in there, could be the bathroom. And then you've got um, a nice roaring fireplace and maybe a little pantry or cellar, coal cellar maybe back there. Again, a nice tower. You could put yourself maybe a ladder and a bell in there. More storage back here. Another kind of partitioned room back here. Maybe this is where you poop in there. And then if you go upstairs, see there's plenty, plenty, plenty room in this house. Hopefully you have a lot of fun building it. And if you do build it, do send me a picture on Instagram. I'd love to see your interpretation of this build. And then through here, you've got some space for maybe another tower up here this one's got some windows in it i don't think i put windows in in the actual tutorial so you could add those windows in if you if you wish towards the end here are your ingredients for this house today so pause the video here take note of everything that you require okay we're going to start with the foundations we're going to use a diagram for this the blue dots on my diagram represent cobblestone and the red ones represent stone bricks so as you can see you've got 18 blocks there in a row and then we're going to go for our stone bricks eight of them and then back to cobblestone again we're going to go one two three then add on five on that side and a single on that side two there gap of one and three down one across two across and another three down Gap of three this time, add those four right there, come across by one, down by three, across by three, up by one, gap, and then one, and then we're going to switch back to our stone bricks. So the first red bit is a turret or a tower, and these red bricks or these stone bricks, this red tower is going to be the chimney. And now we're swinging around the base of our house. Seven blocks along at the bottom. And then up another six. So we are up another five, I should say. So we're just shy of the same sort of level as the, the chimney. And then we're going to add another tower using stone bricks again, represented by red, of course. Back to blue, more cobblestone for the foundations. One, two, and then bring this up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn the corner and add five. One, two, three, four, five. And then bring these three down. And then the foundations only need seven more blocks and they're up in the top left hand corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There you go. Next, we need to put in the fireplace, uh, the chimney, and the two towers. So the fireplace is right here. I'm going to start with the actual fire itself. I'm going to make that from netherrack like that. Take away <coughs> that block, excuse me, and put stone bricks around here, chiseled, or maybe polished. Andesite looks quite good for the fireplace like that. This block here is going to be stone bricks. Same with that one. And then stone bricks on top. But we first of all need to give them kind of a back like that. And then the stone bricks go there 
and there. Now we can start to build up our stone bricks for our chimney. We want to make them four blocks high in total. So that's two. There's three. And here is four like that, leaving a bit of a gap there for kind of just a bit of open space for the chimney like that. So there's your little fire in there. How cute is that? Now we want to go up to 13 high in total for the rest of our chimney. So that's four. So we need to add on another nine and they go in these positions here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like that. And bring it up like that. What we could also do at this stage is stick in a little fire as well with a little campfire down there. You could even put hay underneath it if you want even more smoke. And what I like to do is just do that block there, which blocks it off temporarily, and then do upside down stone brick stairs, boom, like that, and the smoke comes out your chimney. The tower at the back here is going to be 14 blocks high. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Same on the uh, all the corners, to be honest. And then here we're going to leave a little gap here, like that. And that little gap there is going to contain um, some spruce fences. And then you've got to do the same on all four sides. And of course, we've got another tower over here, which is simply 12 blocks high. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you can come up on all the corners, 12 high. Now these bits here are going to have a little gap like that. So kind of a smaller gap on this tower. I don't know why. I just decided it looked good, I guess. We can have a little entryway here into the tower at that point there as well. We can dig that out and bring that up there like that. And of course, some nice spruce fences on the top. And there we go. Great progress. The kind of the pillars of the build in position. Now we're going to build up the, the main body, the central body. So you're going to follow along with myself just now. So look at this main kind of rectangle. I'm adding on another layer of cobblestone pretty much to this main central rectangle. So we've got three layers of cobblestone so far. And we're going to build this house up with layers of cobblestone, then layers of andesite, and then layers of stone. And then later on, we're going to kind of upset that stripy rhythm and um, mix them and blend them all together. But right now we're going for stripes. So it's three cobbles and now we're on to andesite. And just bring this round the central rectangle. As I build this up more, you kind of see exactly what rectangle I'm talking about, this main body. We're trying to make it eight blocks high in total. So that's three of cobble and two of andesite so far. And here's another andesite all the way around. And then we're going to go for stone. So we've got three cobble, three andesite, that's six. And then two stone on top. And that gets us to eight high in total. And if I swing the camera around like this, you get a good idea exactly from every angle about what I have done just there. Looks a bit stripy, but we shall randomize that as I said later on and add even some stone bricks in it and it looks really really cool. Okay so our second rectangle down here we're going to add one layer of cobble onto that and then another layer to make three layers in total leaving a little door to the pantry. Then we're going to switch up to andesite and stone. So the uh, fourth one is going to be stone and the fifth one is going to be stone And then we're going to go five and one. And at the ends of the main one, we're going to go five and one as well. And that brings us around to that sort of shape there. So we'll kind of slowly move the camera around and you can see exactly what has been done right there. So we've got some doors and we've got some balconies to add on as well. But that is the bulk of the blocks, I think, placed in this build. Nice and slow so you can count the blocks if it was a bit too fast. So 
So that was quite quick. Let's have a kind of a more of a studied look at this. So make sure that this is one, two, three, four, five, six tall, with the five and the one on top. That bit's twelve hot, twelve tall, twelve tall. This bit here is eight blocks tall. Again with the five and the one. And um, we're going to be blending the cobble and the andesite, as I've said, in towards each other. But it's good just now just to have some basic stripes. And then this is 14 blocks tall. And we've got these extra two right here. And then these ones here are going to form the kind of a, a front entrance. It's going to be two front entrances, kind of a bigger one and a smaller one. Okay, it's definitely time to get some flooring into this place. So um, we're going to be putting in, I'm just going to put in simple wooden blocks for the floor absolutely everywhere so yeah let's get this done and in here this is where I'm gonna put the poopy place this is gonna be where the toilet is going to be so I'm gonna stick in a composter to represent <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. This is an indoor toilet. Before you poo-poo at this, this is actually an indoor toilet, which is very luxurious, I think, for medieval times. But there we go. We have floored the entire place. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do here. This is where the door is. Yeah, let's have something nice and fancy. Let's go for andesite, like that, for the door. And then that could be the door right there. And then that's looking pretty good. Okay, so what we need to do now is put on... Um, Kind of like, I think a staircase should go in this corner. A staircase and the next floor up is important as well. So bring that up. How much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six or seven. Doesn't matter how much you brought that up. And then we're going to add in the flooring. Now the flooring is going to be kind of like three and a half blocks. One, two. There's three. And then there's your half slab or half block there. So really, for ceiling height, you get three and a half blocks and this is going to be on the upper. So this is going to be the floor, which needs to be put absolutely everywhere. And it's going to link right round into this staircase here. So let's get the staircase done. I start, um, let's make the staircase actually out of spruce, I think. There we go, spruce, spruce, spruce. We're climbing up and then here and here and there. And then that should bring us to round about there. And there, and then all of a sudden we're up at the level we should be for the staircase. So this can come across like that. We'll just test this. All works. Yeah, that all works fine. So we've got a great wee staircase. Of course, you could put your staircase absolutely anywhere. I'm just suggesting that's where I've put mine. So we've got more flooring to do. We've got more windows to do absolutely everywhere. We've got the roof to do. Roof, windows, and then just detailing as well. And the detailing you might just do on your own but I'll give you some ideas and some pointers about detailing as well. I've got the kind of the side balconies to do as well. We've got a balcony right here and there's definitely a, huge, a lo very long balcony at the back to do as well. So we've got a few jobs yet to do. There we go. We've got some doors and windows to put in as well. But there we go. We've got flooring. We've got a staircase and flooring top and bottom. Okay, so we're going to start with these entrances and balconies and windows and doors all the way around the whole property. This is like a big door here where maybe you could bring in your oxen. If it was very windy and rainy outside, you could bring your cow inside. <laughs> they did that in medieval times. They kind of had rooms separate off to one side. If you want to bring your cows indoors, you can through the big door. And you could bring your nice guests who aren't cows who could walk in through this door. Anyway, that's my thinking of having two doors. Just it, You could call it a two-door house. Get it? Two-door. Two-door. Moving on. One layer of cobblestone, another layer of andesite right there, and then we're going to go for bits of stone on top, just like that. And that makes a little kind of a door there. That's where the door is going to be. And then actually here, I'm going to punch through. I'm going to put um, a little trap door here like that as a kind of an extra little window. Don't ask me why I put the door to one side. It just looks cool in my opinion having the door to one side. Right, uh, back to the front of the build here. What we're going to be doing here is adding on one more block of cobblestone just there. I don't know why that was missed out. Either I missed it out earlier or I've deleted the block by mistake. Um, add on two more layers of cobblestone here. Like that. There we go. Very nice indeed. Cool. Um, and then we can add on a layer of andesite, like this. There we 
we go. Beautiful andesite. I love that block. My new favorite block, actually. And then we can go for andesite stairs here and here, forming this large entryway just like that. Now, on the corners, we're going to go andesite right here. <coughs> and I guess we're going to have full block. Yeah, full block of andesite there and full block of andesite right here. And then we're going to be quite sneaky with a temporary block right here. Let me put a temporary block of stone right there because we're going to go and the site's there and the site's there. Get rid of you. Oh, actually, we're going to need that back again. And then we're going to go and the site's there, stair, 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 like that. There we go. Now, of course, this is begging out for another block right there. Obviously, an upper slab of andesite. Over here, back to andesite stairs. One and two. And then round on this corner. One and two, just like so. Now, we want to put in the door at this point, poking through into this upper area right here. So we want to have kind of this bit and then a gap of one and then the door is going to be right here and just find out where this level is. That's where you want to put wood. So you can come straight out of this floor here, straight out onto the balcony and then round this corner. It all just ties itself up really nicely. I love this design. Look at this little balcony around here and then into this upper floor. I just love it so much. I'm also going to put a little window in here and the kind of windows I like to do in these medieval builds is little slot windows like that. So I'm going to go for andesite and then stone above it like that. It just looks so, so cute. I love it. Uh, one more bit to do around the front here. And that's a little bit of kind of a fake battlement area here. Fake crenellations here, just a bit of decoration like that. Oh, we can get rid of our temporary block. It gives us actually a bit more walking room up here. Forgot about that. And then carry on our crenellations. One, two, and then do I do one more? One more there. Looks actually pretty smart as well. So there we go. Excellent. Right. Round this side here, all we're going to do is add in a couple more windows. Um, where should we put one? Let's go window here. And we'll have stone. What happens to my stone here is stone like that. So we've got one window there. You can put your windows anywhere you like. I'm just kind of making this up to go right there. Hmm. Do you know what? I think I want this window a bit higher. So I'm going to go like that. There we go. Two little windows on that side. Now moving around to this side of the build. Hmm. What should we do? Let's have a window up here. There we go. Um, and now we are round to this side. We're going to have another little window down in this corner. So this one was like one, two, three blocks in, and then it's the window ones. This one's going to be three blocks in, I guess, as well, or maybe two blocks. Doesn't really matter. Stick your window in roughly about there, and you can have a little view of the staircase. Um, you could actually just turn it round, and maybe you can get a bit more of a view into the room and out the room as well. Okay, so this brings us round to um, <coughs> this bit back here. So I think one of the first things we should do We've actually got to make it four blocks high in total. Um, and then we're going to go for that to the andesite stairs on the fifth block. So here we want to do that and not complete this. It should be a gap of two just here before we start our staircase. Next layer up, we're going to go for um, some andesite here. This is the third layer. Again, we're going to step this in because this is the steps at the side. And then just pop this along there. Like that. Next layer up is the fourth layer. It's going to be stone. And we just finish it right there again because, of course, the staircase. And then the next layer up is the fifth layer, which is the andesite layer. So that's going to be a block there and a block there. And then we can start with our kind of little fake battlements like that all the way along. Oh, need to put in one more. Oh, awkward. Um, now we can start with little stone slabs, which sit really nicely on top like this. So they're going to go, hmm. so they're going to go like that, I believe. Is that right? Hmm. Yeah, I was right. This is a detail I have kind of forgotten. So it's going to go like that. Oops. Let's just put them all the way along like that. It's going to be a much, much quicker way of doing things. And then we go alternate. So it's stone and then slabs and stone blocks, stone slabs, stone blocks all the way along. 
Right, we have a little door to carve in the side here as well. And this little door is gonna be, I think, a count of three. So it's one, two, three blocks, like one, two, three, and then this is gonna be our door just in there like that. Of course, above the door, if you wanted, you could do that as well. We could probably do the same thing over here as well. We've yet to blend these blocks as well. We need to really blend them. And when I, when I talk about blending, I did this in my last tutorial. This is when you just start to bleed like the cobblestone into the andesite and then take the andesite and play with it and go into the, the stone like that as well. But we're, do, we're doing that in just a few seconds time. We've got another job to do and that is to, oh, I've got to build up this bit as well. So it's cobble, 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 oops, cobble, cobble, andesite, andesite, and then, Yeah, let's just go andesite, andesite again, and then just some couple of stone slabs as well. Don't need to be very fancy on that bit there. But yeah, we've got, obviously, we've got this oak slab to put in everywhere. Oops, that's too low. As well, that goes like that. Excellent. Oh, round here, this is going to be, that's where the poopy place was down there. This is going to be a bell tower. So you're coming up here to the bell tower and we'll put the bell in later on right now I'm just going to seal that up I'm also going to seal that one up which I forgot to do earlier on right back to the job in hand this is supposed to be a dividing wall actually I need to build that up like that and then just bring that across oh now it's time for our staircase so let's grab any old stair you like and I like to start it right here and I'm going to make kind of a mixture, a blend of stairs as well, like that. There we go. We've got a nice blend of different kinds of stairs, different textures, bringing us up to this level right here. Now we could also put in a couple of windows pretty much anywhere you like. I'm going to go for one just a couple of blocks along from the door. Um, and then maybe another one, two, three blocks further along. We put another window maybe facing a different way like that right is that all the doors and windows Andy let's have a quick look around this place yeah I believe that is all the doors and windows there might be one up here in the middle yeah let's put one up there in the middle same as that the little oak trapdoor that looks pretty smart indeed all right I think it's now time for the roof and to do this, we're going to place some spruce planks in a very important place. So there and there. And I feel if you get those blocks placed correctly, the rest of the roof just kind of makes sense. So on the side here, we're going to put spruce like that. And that's very easy to do. And then along here as well. Super simple. Same on the other side. So we've got to go all the way along here. A little bit awkward in this corner, isn't it? One, two. Oh, that's annoying. Gotta have good aim sometimes in Minecraft. Bring this along here. And of course, on the same on this side, same on this side. So important block there and there. And then everything kind of builds from that. Remember, we only want to use actually two sets of stairs, that one and that one. And then we're going to go on to slabs. So let's finish both of those. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. Now we've got a bit of a problem in this gap here, which we'll come back to in just a few seconds time. But let's get on with the slab work again. Now we want to go stair, upside down stair, there and there. And then it's time for some slabs. And these are going to go all the way across like this. And again, upside down there and there. And then we can bring the other slabs back the other way. Nice, 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 nice. Um, then we're going to go slab there, slab there. Upper slab, upper slab. Slab there, and then slab there. And that means we've got three slabs from this side to bring all the way through. Now, if you don't want to bring slabs, you could actually just bring full planks across there like that. Same on this side, so you've got um, spruce slab there and there, and that is the shape you are going from. I think it just has kind of a medieval ring to it. I love this roof shape indeed. Oh, let's carry on. 
and pop that down there and there. Nice one. All right. So we are stirring up a little, little bit of a problem here for the future. <laughs> A little touch of a problem there for the future, but let's leave that problem and move on to something much easier Which is this roof on the side just here. So again those key blocks get placed and then you're gonna go for spruce stairs two of please and Here as well boom, 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 boom. And in there as well. Oh That one becomes a spruce slab I guess and then That comes around there like that Boom. <clears throat> Good one. Now it's upside down, upside down, and we're going to be building up into our slabs now. So it's a slab here. Bring that across. We'll go as far as the chimney. We're going to work out how to join all these things up in a second. Because this roof's got to connect up to that roof somehow. Okay, good progress so far. Then we want to go one, two, three, four to make those kind of solid blocks again. Remember how these solid blocks just come through the build like that? Again, we'll go through right here. I guess this one can come a bit further, this slab. <clears throat> Make it nice and even. And the slab on top. And just there as well. Again, you get that sort of shape there and it's just looking brilliant already with the little lanterns I've placed down shining nice golden light through and out your windows. I love all the little nooks and crannies in this build. Hopefully you do as well. This is one of my favorite builds ever in Minecraft. I have to admit that. Right, what do we do at this bit right here? And the solution turns out to be quite simple. Just a little extra stair block in here like this. Quite a cute solution. It needs to go all the way along. A little bit awkward to place this one. Did you see that? There's like a ghost or something there. What was that? That was weird. Uh, let's, oh, well, that could have been useful. There we go. Boom, like that. And then it just joins up automatically. That one goes up to there. And then this one, can you guess? It just turns the corner like that. One and two. There we go. Oh, we have some little teeny tiny roofs to do up the top of these. But these are really simple. You just wrap this all the way around. Couldn't be simpler. Very, very easy, easy roofs like that. There we go. Same, of course, on this one. Let's just do this for completeness. And that's pretty much your house finished. You, of course, need to add a whole bunch. Oh, no, it's not. Look. Look, looky, looky, looky here. We forgot. I forgot. That is your key block again, remember? And then you've got spruce stairs, two of, upside down, two stairs upside down and then you can go ahead and put in your spruce now these ones of course are just going to be slabs like that slabs like that slabs like that and then one more to finish the job on top and that is all the roof uh, blocks placed on so now we need to add on just some details and some doors and we are complete Ooh, just before details, I forgot about the blending stage. Now, just for quickness, I'm going to do this with a special tool here where I can just kind of paint like this. But you want to just blend all the colors into each other. Andesite can go down. Andesite can go up. Bring the stone down through as well. Cobble can go up the sides. Andesite, spread it through. Bring the stone down. Spread it and just bleed these blocks into each other. Instead of having stripes, you want it to have kind of a random effect like the people building this medieval house just use pretty much any stone they could get their hands on like that but um what i've done is kind of left the the towers to be pretty much okay what you could do with the towers though of course is you could start to put in some different blocks like mossy looks very good as well got some nice mossy like that beautiful and then obviously cracked looks good as well on your towers <clears throat> there we go and then, <clears throat> once you've done that, let me just do a little bit more of that. Just sort this out a little bit like that. Andesite, bring it through the stone. Bring the stone down into the andesite, like that. There we go. And we just add in a few more cracked, especially in the chimney. The chimney is a great place to add in some more cracked bricks. Obviously, the heat is going to take its toll, like that. And then maybe some 
on these down here but yeah you really really want to do this this is the best bit when you grab some normal stone bricks and you just work these in because look how good that looks it just looks fantastic when you just bring in <coughs> stone bricks there we go loving that just a few more here and there a few more here random places the corners are good places for it as well i would say <coughs> like that they're beautiful 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 a few more definitely a few more over here and they just sit nicely and polished andesite is another block you might want to use as well that does look very good as well polished andesite let me just bring in a couple more blocks like that there we go beautiful place is looking great now and here it is with the detail in place now don't worry i'm going to take you through all these details and show you how to do them for a start the window up here i've put right above this door let me show you how to put the window in oh, oh by the way isn't that a cute place for the, the chests isn't that a cute place right, so the window can go here okay right in line with there take this block and turn it and this one and turn it then of course you want to grab a window and a slab and a shutter and then the glass pane goes in there slab on top you can put a different color slab on if you want uh, i've just gone for the same and then a little jungle trap door looks like a little um you know it doesn't work <laughs> but it looks like a little shutter you can either put it there or you can put it there really kind of a subtle difference there or there do you know what i mean or you can even do a double no a double doesn't work there you go your choice so i've put windows there there also i've put a window here right above the door i've put a door in by the way and i've put lanterns pretty much everywhere and yeah a window there and then one two three four five blocks along another window just there um, at the back i've added a teeny tiny farm a little place to store your melons and your pumpkins kind of life advice there look after your melons your melons will look after you oh a little bit of detail in the tower let me show you how i did that so it's just stair stair upside down upside down stair and it makes that little detail if you wish obviously trees bushes paths bits of scaffolding and barrels make a big difference to your build obviously the lanterns are kind of crucial as well ivy and then these little gorgeous flower boxes you can pop them pretty much anywhere you like i put one there and there um, the door here oh by the way i've put a spruce log above the door instead of a stone mantle i think the spruce lo log looks better i'm not sure anyway this is just simply a door with kind of trap doors put to one side um, a little wood store over here with simple two blocks of spruce fence and then just um, some slabs like that and then a little wood store underneath with the wood sticking out that way looks very very cool uh, around here kind of a little carpenter area as well i can't remember somebody else designed this for me was it marshmallow mate or, or jj i can't remember i think it was marshmallow they designed this little carpentry area here an extra window as well i've put in at the back so that looks very smart indeed kind of a fake window i've put up here as well which looks quite smart and notice we've got a blend of spruce and trap doors for a little uh, carpentry section there at the back of the house kind of a plain back wall you see and you want to put these where you've got plain back walls you want to put some detail like i've just put some barrels and scaffolding in there okay some a few pot plants and we are done any other details i want to show you a couple of pot plants and we need to put in we definitely need to put in one more door let me grab a door like that and there we go and then the rest is up to you to furnish there's plenty of light in here as you can see coming in in all different angles and yeah i just love this place so so cool inside it really is and then downstairs the same place is just looking awesome stick some carpet stick some furnishing i've put some kind of little uh, screen here actually designed by gibby one of the builders on the server and that goes through there by the way if you'd like to download the entire village you can soon on my patreon patreon.com forward slash andy is your i'll be adding the whole village to my patreon downloads as well as well as all my other five by five upgrade videos as well you can download download them on patreon as well you can come and play on my server and um, build with me in videos and suggest things as well i think i put an extra window here which i maybe didn't do before as well but there we go oh and you've got yourselves a little closet or cupboard 
right there and the door. And that is all the detailing that I did to make my super simple, easy starter materials house. And let's see it actually in place. If you like this tutorial, then why don't you check out these other tutorials on the screen right now. Thank you so much indeed for watching. Very much appreciated indeed. Do use the links below to find out the playlist and you'll be able to see the builds from Blue Nerd and from myself. Take care for now. Ciao.